Et vous avez quel âge 180, premier mois le premier. Ah, le 1er janvier 80 oui. C'est pas vrai. vrai. Le 1er janvier 1980 oui. Ah non, ça c'est vraiment un cas particulier. C'est oui. important. Mais quel sentiment ça te fait toi Ça fait beaucoup de choses. Ah, comme quoi par exemple On était content parce que là, tout le monde il fait ça. Ah bon Donc on n'a pas besoin pour organiser dans les anniversaires là encore. N'est-ce pas Tout à fait. Ça veut dire que vous, vous n'avez même pas besoin d'organiser votre anniversaire non, non, parce que c'est déjà fêté dans tous tout les cas. Le monde qui fait ça. Moi je ne suis pas un jumeau. Mm -hmm. Est-ce que vous pensez que vous, vous êtes différent de moi ah, tout à fait, bien mm -hmm. sûr. Comment ça Si moi, c'était coutume africain. Oui. Tout le monde est à respecter. Oui. <rire> Donc, on disait, même si, tout le monde est à respecter dans les jumeaux africains. Parce que là, depuis, c'est comme depuis à la village. Oui. Parce que là, même si vous avez des, un peu de problèmes, tu vas aller donner les... C est, c est, c est, les jumeaux, ça vient de Dieu. C'est Dieu qui fait. Il ne fait pas tout le monde. Des jumeaux yefugués qui m'ont toujours impressionné. Albino twins have always made a real impression on me. From the time they were very young, five or six, every time you stopped in front of the Air Afrique headquarters building, there they were, from morning till night. I told myself then that someday I would go and see them so that they could tell me a little about themselves. Yefeke means albinos. And the most famous Yefeke in all Bamako are the Air Afrique albinos. I've had a great time asking them, what will you do the day one of you gets married? One woman for the two of you? Une femme pour vous deux? Oui, il a pas de problème. Et une femme va se marier à vous deux? Oui. Non, 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 ça c'est faux. Non, non, non soyons non, sérieux. Non, non, non. Comment vous allez faire? Eh ben, c'est vous, vous. Vous allez prendre deux femmes ou une femme? Une, une femme, après on se fait deux. Un une deuxième? Oui. Qui vous va à tous les deux aussi? Oui. Et en ce moment, que, comment vous allez faire? Eh ben, pourquoi? Okay, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Allez. Okay. Très bien. Au revoir. Being a child, poor, and a twin is synonymous with being a street beggar. The parents usually rent them out to the highest bidder. Another case of tradition-based child beggars are the Garibu, children whose parents cannot support them and send them to a Quranic school. As the marabout cannot support them either, he sends them out onto the streets with a begging bowl. These children, when they are too old to be able to beg on behalf of the marabout, become boot blacks, window cleaners, loaders in the market, or simply vagabonds. I understand that life is difficult for everyone, that's true. This is what makes begging a way of life that requires no effort today. You only need to have a physical handicap, know how to sing or know how to get to people, and if you're lucky, you can earn a living. We're in a hard line of work, the audiovisual media. Nowadays, people are against us. Many come quite close to attacking you when they see you with a camera and a tripod filming a report in the city. This is an everyday experience for audiovisual technicians and workers. However much we explain to them that this concerns all of us, they don't understand. They come up and say, no, don't agree to this. These people are going to exploit your image. They're going to manipulate your image and show you naked. They're going to make pornography with you. Things like that.
وصل بينكم وبين تونس همزة وصل توقع تحس إنك معك توقع تحس إنك African tradition speaks of a continent marked by oral culture and also by the visual, by the culture of gesture and movement. With this background, television could not but triumph in Africa. However, the high cost of technology and program production make it the prerogative of the few. There is an enormous difference between urban centers and rural areas in terms of access to information. 90% of television sets are located in the cities. While in North America or Europe, there is almost one set per inhabitant. In Africa, there is not even one for every 40 people. There's another subject I've thought of doing, the blind people who are led by child guides. Sometimes these are not their own children. Here children are exploited as well. They are rented out to guide the blind at intersections, traffic lights, in shops, anywhere where there's a crowd. Often, the blind abuse these children. Life is not just about eating and drinking. Life is also about culture. Life is living and knowing what's going on in other places. So I dream of a Mali where the children want to be filmmakers. I dream of a country where we never stop looking at our own images. Yes.